Hello, it's Saturday morning and oranges are on view for our sale on the 12th. Yes. 12th of September, in September already, gosh, where did it go? And uh, before everyone floods in, we're gonna have a look round the main room at some of the furniture, such as this, look at this, splendid Conran sofa, re-upholstered in Italian velvet. Uh, it's lot 193, it's you absolutely get, beautiful. you get these cushions with it that match rather well. Um, nice condition, relatively, very recently re-upholstered, and um, it's got a modest estimate. You know, I think it cost two or three thousand to buy, and then it was about a couple of thousand to re-upholster, but it's got to go. It's um, it's too big for where the ladies and gentlemen are moving to, so it's in at three to five hundred, but let's hope it goes Gosh. on and makes more. It's a, it's it deserves a, to. Look at that, it's a good thing. Another big showy piece of seating furniture, lot 201. Look at yes, that, nice big uh, sort of statement wing armchair not of huge age but it's got some and uh, it's got a good look in leather behind it is nice pine kitchen table don't run away because we can't hear you nice pine kitchen table at 195 with a good character boarded top black painted underframe being sort of improved a bit which uh, has improved it funnily enough so there we go then carrying on through down here if that's not your style how about that this is very uh Bond villain. This is, um, I believe, Lynn Rosse uh, with uh, the pair of reclining armchairs and the sofa, and it's all electric reclining. <laughs> no fantastic. less. That's fantastic. Lot 152. I sat in that, it's really comfy. Is it now? Yeah. Here we go. That's really comfy, actually. Yeah. So you could sit in this chair and you could swivel round and look at that marvellous Bang Nelson television, except that by the time, uh, well, if you watch this before Monday, Gosh. you've got time to. Uh, bid on it because this is in the sale on the 5th um look at that that looks like is that the remote no i don't think it's remote control it's just something you know, it looks stand like... for it i was hoping that was something funky you don't like think that. you can write on the screen with it no i don't no. It's, got a, it's a foot look oh, it's right. a foot um there's the remote control very very stylish yeah. uh, david's tested it does work so there we go another another divertisement 708 catches my eye uh, why does it catch my eye i don't know because it does keith um Keith Dunkley, there we are, oil on board, tricycle in the garden, nicely painted. Yeah. Oh, nice look, got 708. A number of mirrors in the sale, as always, good variety there. Further down, linen presses. We've seen these sort of bouncing around a bit in terms of value. This is lot number 173. It's, it's got the look of a sort of Edwardian example. Good, rich, sort of gingerish tone. There's the original sliding trays or shelves. Hints at being secretaire. Yes, there we go. It's got ah. a secretaire, so you can um, keep your bits and pieces in there. Back up again. There we go. The so, grain's interesting on this. Yeah, it's got. A, it's almost got. It has got a flame, hasn't it? It's got a flame to mm. the uh, thing. Um, it's it's got that sort of slightly hybrid Edwardianized Regency feel about it, but uh, yeah. still good looking thing. Uh, and I like this at the back, it's completely different. This uh, nice gothic style. <laughs> That's great. Monk's bench, you've got the stick it in the hallway, chuck all the boots and shoes inside there. I love the faces um, on there. The them. faces are great fun, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah, and they're, they're different, aren't they? That's a sort of awry smile. And uh, that's perhaps more of a grimace, but anyway, that, yeah, uh, I great. like the panelling at the back, and it is lot 169. So there we go, more well, that fabulous. Blue, that's pretty. Yes, the blue. Now, 696. It is, look behind it. Oh, I'll have to look that up later. You can put it on I, the I feature, can. can't you? Yeah, put it on course. the feature, but- um, It's just that there single saving boat. There are two of up. these in the sale. Oh. We'll find another one in okay. due course. So moving round from there, we'll go and have a look at the, um, at the smalls section. So here we are in the smalls, interesting things from Joe's job, uh, still interesting things coming out of it. Look at these, these what are- What are they? Well, what do you think? Wait. That, yes. And what does that look like? What does that look like? Oh, a, a, um, a tassel. Tassels. Yes. So these are our curtain or, or window Grief, pulled that looks really weights. Good. Yeah, that's substantial. That it's cast iron. It's Victorian. Look, there we are. It's nicely marked up. So a, a collection of them. You'd be hard pressed to find one most places. Gosh, but there nice. we go. We have a collection of them, lot 294. Mm. Uh, I like this lantern. It says White Star Liverpool, which I'm a bit suspicious of. But I suppose it might be. It's all no, it's all cleaned up and done. It's a sort of repro, but it looks it, it catches the eye, doesn't mm. it? Two seven zero. Tiger. Uh, Molten Fall Raker. 
specialised in painting uh, landscapes with the lights out, so to speak, <laughs> uh, always with this bluish tone as if, you know, under moonlight and mm. particularly in Spanish locations, I guess the white of villas and things, Spanish in Italy, um, I guess the white of the walls works well. Actually, so I can get the uh, other one better because six, it hasn't got the light. Ah, there you go, that's the other one yes. better, yes. Yep. 679 and 680, estimates okay. round about sort of three to 400 each. We've got some uh, modern Lalique in the sale, quite a run of it. 262 is the first one. There we are, post-war Lalique. Uh, some of it has boxes. Well, pick out some more as we carry on through. We have three paintings by W. Richards. Who was W. Richards? Well, I think W. Richards was um, F.E. Jameson, who spent all day painting lock scenes and sometimes got bored and so named them Richards as well. Uh, named on the back, Ban Balin Luig. Uh, lot 677, estimate nice. kind of one to 200. They don't make huge money, but they always sell quite steadily. I like that. Yes, I've got a look. Yeah. Hasn't it? 279. Mm, pretty. Um, we've it got pretty? some, yeah, studio pottery. Ah, okay. So there's the impressed marks. Maybe we know who it is, maybe we don't, but uh, that's what it is. Uh, how about a, 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 an Irish shillelagh? A sort of bombing on the head stick. Look, these are, these are bog oak. So it's very dark, black, ebonized oak carved with shamrocks. Wow. Uh, those are lot 281. Are they, are they priests? Well, this one would, would sort out most things you hit it with. Yes. This one is a bit delicate and wouldn't really have much impact on anything. Mm. Uh, so the answer to that is, I don't know. No. Um, some oak panelling, nice black forest, carved wood, wild boar by Peter Burry, one of the uh, preeminent carvers. Lost an ear or so, but, but otherwise still good. Let's go down here. What do we see? Wine, of course. There's always some wine. Uh, and you have to search for a sort of bottle or something because, of course, it's not all called... We don't just say wine. We say which chateau or what have you it is. So uh, that's how you search. How about some cats? Oh, I seem to have a, uh, a cattery here. Lot 317. English pottery. Signed up. Um, quite a group of them. Yeah, quite funny, they? Say. yeah they're great fun, aren't they? Quite yeah. nicely made. Um, bit of jazzy deco star, looks like Carlton Ware, 338 it is, it's Carlton Ware, there we go. Nice colours. Good bold pattern. And is, is, is that more Lalique? That is more Lalique, yeah. Birdie's there, yes. Not, another nude here. Nice pair of candlesticks there, look, mm -hmm. in the sort of chinoiserie style, sort of, that sort of Regency chinoiserie style, um, but perhaps a little later given the quality of the casting, but still got a good look with this almost like B-skep step three three four yeah these are super they're nice aren't like they those, yeah. yeah oh there's some more lily with a box this time ah. there we go three 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 okay and again over here lily cherubs so lots of uh lily um these make surprising amounts of money these is these, these, these boris klein and i think we also remember these from the 50s to the 70s as being a slightly naff things that people put in the toilets but they've um They've picked up a bit and they're often making sort of 150, 200 pounds a go these days. So uh, I think the, the, the whole, there's a whole series of them and they were called something like the Dirty Dogs of Paris or, or something <laughs> along those lines. So there's one, 657, oh, another yes, one up there. There's another one there. 659. Yeah. Let's have a look around the corner if we can squeeze by. Can you get through? That's just, it's yes, challenging, I think. isn't it? <clears throat> Uh, yes, so more Lalique. There's another lady there with box, lot 350. Oh, that's rather nice. It's quite nice, isn't it? It's yeah. Dennis Planet. Um, you, could, you, could, you could remove the dirt if you yes, wanted to, hoping. or you could keep it if, oh, if that's like the that. look you go for. It, it sort of needs a um, clean anyway. Yeah, low tide, got some gulls coming in. Yeah. Um, there's his label. Mm. No title, but yeah, nice enough thing. Yeah. 637. Uh, next to it, Eric Rolf, it's called a Sussex Garden, lot 638, and another work by him, Sip of Clowns, it's quite fun, 640, yeah. a bit like Clifford Hall in a way. Mm, that's nice arty stuff. The There's a birdie, look, <laughs> yeah, sort of, he's not quite a decoy, is he? he's more of a sort of model, but he's rather fun. I like yeah. the way his um, feathers are painted. Yes. All of it. Stop saying the leak for getting stuck getting repetitive about it. Yes. Some lamps, door stops. Um gosh, that's uh lacy. Yes, this is um lacy lace, lot three seventy four. Mm. Another good run across here. Look at these, rather showy. Okay. They're very well made, aren't they? Yeah. Mm. I 
go around. That's sexy, sexy, sexy photo. And that's for us. fun. That's uh, that's really sort of eighties, isn't it? It's, it's John Swanell, and it's called something like Fine Lines Gosh. from memory. Well, um, yeah, it's it is. It's called Fine Lines. Um, this is one of an edition. Uh, there's numerous editions on the back, but um, very cheeky. Like it's got it. a COA Great with fun. it. Yeah, very cheeky. No pun intended. Eh? <laughs> Very good. Uh, over here, I oh. like these panels. I think these would do quite well at 408. Um, interesting, you know, the carver, the, the turret, and then the, the looking glass. I don't quite know. So where would they, the panels? Panels I, for what? I think they were in a piece of furniture. Okay. I suppose they could have been That's theoretically a... in a hallway or something, but yeah. I think they were in a piece of furniture, or maybe they were in a, I don't know, very decorative, shop, but very yeah, quite nicely done. What late nineteenth century, mm. maybe English, maybe Flemish, or something like that. Lot four hundred eight. Again, from that job of Joe's with the sort of interesting things. Here's a tobacco box. This is a, a, a pub tobacco box where you had to put the penny in, and then that allowed you to open it and uh, take out some tobacco. Uh, it was still a sort of a semi-trust system because, of course, you could take as much as you liked. And this one has rubbed away oh, an yes, inscription and yeah. i imagine we would have liked to have read that inscription it might be a bit of poetry it might just be instructions on use but uh, anyway you see this from time to time but not usually with the inscriptions it's a shame it's faded away um sorry about all these doors opening and closing treen clocks with urns on the top keep granny's ashes in the top oh, oh. um oh these are fun i saw these in a house down in who Near um near Becks Hill, and so these are certainly nineteenth, maybe eighteenth century metalwork sconces with Dutch uh, Delft plaques to the back. And then what's curious is they've taken Chinese export tea bowls and saucers oh. and used them as the the wax pans. That is great fun. So that is um, that's very pretty. I demonstrate. We have the full set. Ah. Um, yeah, most unusual. Yeah. And clearly done quite some time ago. Another sort of recent adaptation. So uh, that's lot 443. I like those. I'm not quite sure who, which category people want, whether they want the Delft or the Chinese or, or, or they just like the fact that it's unusual. Good grief. Um, here's a nice big deco wow. timepiece. Lot 441. That's something, isn't it? It is, isn't it? It yeah. weighs a ton, of course. Gosh. Um, it's got an electric battery movement that may or may not work, but of course would be easy enough to replace. Very striking. Um, so, uh, yeah, very thing. striking, if that's your thing. Yeah. We, we cover ourselves there. Yeah. Sort of Brandt style little lamp there. I always like this kind of metal yeah, work. Yeah, that's nice. 423. Uh, artwork, there's a whole host of different things. Um, this is from memory George Pinwell, what, 613. Hmm. He's, he could be, I suppose that could be a falcon. He could be out um, I think so. hunting a hawk or something yes. like that. Uh, we've had lots of Lalique. Why just throw in some Shavorsky? Um Al, great oh, fun. Look at nice. the size of the boxes and the quality of the boxes. Remarkable. Gosh. Um, would have been very expensive in their day. So, um, as we've shown, a vast array of goodies. Did you want to look behind the back or is that... Is that enough, madam? That's enough, sir. That's enough then. You've had enough from me. Have a good weekend. Enjoy the sale. Come along and have a view. Go along and have a look in the warehouse. All sorts of bizarre objects in there. And uh, enjoy the sale. Thank you.